So, uh, during the last month or so, I've been working on a plugin for Unreal Marketplace. Uh, this plugin is meant to add water physics. Uh, the idea is to do it in like a generic way where you can use or source the colliders of the meshes or objects in Unreal to build a water model which should hopefully be fairly accurate and they're due to using the um, colliders from Unreal it should be fairly easy to set up and should be able to be done in a very generic way uh, however I have been hitting a bit of a snag lately and it's mostly in the area of user interface. The thing that I am working on now is trying to figure out how to allow the users to configure the behavior of the water for each primitive or mesh or actor. The problem here is that since I'm trying to make it generic, you need to allow for quite a lot of different uses so for example I can't really know if the user wants two parts of the same actor to have for example the same buoyancy an example of this could be let's say you have an anchor anchored to a boat and you want that anchor to have higher density than the boat, but for some reason you want the actual mass to be low. So I want some way of allowing the user to specify water properties for uh, separate components of an actor. So I will show you my current setup and how far I've gotten. And I can therefore show you why I'm not very happy with the current solution. So if we take and open this boat, you can see that it has something called a water physics setting. And the idea here is that your water volume, your ocean, your pond, your river, whatever it is that you want to be adding physics to, will have uh, some settings of its own. And you can override each of those settings individually by adding this setting to your actor. So for example, your player might want to have different settings than uh, than any regular other physics actor. So the way I've gone about it for now is that you add one of these components. You add one of these components and in here you specify which com uh, primitive or component on your actor this physics is supposed or these settings, water physics settings are supposed to act on. So I could, for example, add here and I could select the boat. Now the entire boat mesh is going to have water physics applied to it. For, for example, so this boat has a lantern, which is simulating and is constrained to the main boat. And this will now no longer simulate water physics. This is good for optimization. And it's also good for allowing the user to maybe have separate colliders for water than they have for say the players. So you could have a player sitting in the boat, not colliding with the water hull. So for example, this boat already has something called a depth called boat hull, which is a simple shader, which cut, cuts out the water. But you could imagine you might want to use this thing for collision as well. The main issue right now is that you might want to have loads of these components. For example, we have a rudder on this boat. Let's say I want different settings for this rudder well then I would have to add another water physics setting component I would then need to select the rudder and now I could configure the rudder uh, separately and uh, the major the main issue here is that due to unreal and how they handle physics the rudder and the boat are no longer separate physics bodies. They get welded together into one physics body. So right now there's no real support for having separate physics settings for welded bodies. I am not sure if this is actually something the user would want. If it's worth add, you know, spending the extra time to add the extra complexity to handle this case. And a lot 
has to do, a lot of these problems has to do with complexity like it's very possible to make a system which can handle all the cases however you would probably need to make a lot of custom ui for your components and i want it to be as simple as possible both for me and for the users so one of the reasons why i'm not very happy with this is that it's only really able to modify the settings of the already existing primitives. You can't, for example, add non-colliding or non-simulating physics bodies and have them act as water body, bodies. That makes any sense. I can't, for example, add uh, the, the example I put up before with using the depth call uh, primitive for water physics for the um, collider for the water physics wouldn't work because it's not colliding and it's not simulating physics. Therefore, it doesn't have a presence in the physics scene and therefore you can't really source the collider data, Not at least not yet. There is a way and that's why I'm thinking about maybe redoing some of this, but that would add significant complexity and it's worth thinking about whether or not you want the extra complexity because that means uh, lower flexibility in terms of future improvements, uh, refactoring and general features. So I am considering leaving it like this for now. However, I am not particularly happy with this solution. It also has a very sinister, bu uh, not bug, feature or non-feature of not really easily being able to modify these values at runtime since the water physics system will source the settings once the body gets added to the water and we need some way of notifying the water physics system that the settings has changed so that it can refresh them and there's no real good way of doing this there's there's of course ways of doing it but no real clean good simple way